So let's um, do the valence or build the structure using uh, Lewis dot structures. Okay, so what is the structure we're looking for? Um, CO3 2 minus. Okay, again, the book teaches you to count up all your electrons, add your two minus electrons, and so on. And it's effectively the way that we're going to do it here, but we're going to do it all through Lewis structures, okay? So, hopefully by now, you're content to say that the carbon's probably the central atom, okay? Because it can make the most bonds. So we'll put it in the center, and we'll draw its Lewis structure. Okay, then there's probably three oxygens around that central carbon. So let's draw those three oxygens, and we'll draw their Lewis structures. I skip that intermediate step because hopefully by now you can convert. Okay. So do you guys think you can do that type of thing? The thing about these uh, polyatomic ions is you got to remember to put your electrons in there, okay, and put them on the most electronegative atom. Okay. So is everybody okay with this? We're going to talk about resonance now, which is what, which is a topic we're going to hit later. But this is a very good structure to talk about resonance with. Okay, so why should it that this, why should it be that this and this oxygen have a negative charge and this one doesn't? Can anybody give me any explanation for that? I mean, why did I choose those two to have the negative charge? Yeah, they add, but why didn't I add it to the other one? I could have. Yeah, that's the whole point, is I could have. You know, I just didn't because, you know, I like to draw it this way, this way, more than I like to draw the single bond here, okay? But they're equally valid structures, okay? So where you can make two equally valid structures by only moving electrons, okay? Those are called what we call resonance structures. Why are they called resonance? Because you resonate from one structure to another. 
and in fact they are equivalent structures. Okay? So how am I, what, what am I even talking about, right? So let's just show some resonance structures, okay? So remember, our single-headed arrows, our fish hook arrows, we're going to compare those with what arrows we're going to make now for resonance structures. Okay, so we're going to draw a resonance structure of this molecule here. So we're going to take two, two electrons from this oxygen and bounce them into this bond here. Okay, that's going to make a double bond there. Is everybody okay with that? Notice the double-headed arrow. That means the motion of two electrons. Is everybody okay with that? Okay, you okay, you okay, okay. But we can't have the double bond here, a double bond here, and a single bond here, right? Because carbon can only make four bonds, okay? Very important rule. So when we do that, we're gonna have to bounce the bonded electrons out to that other oxygen. Okay, is everybody okay with that? So when we do that, we, draw, we make a resonance structure. So notice the resonance arrow, double-headed arrow. Okay, another, chemistry is the language of arrows, okay? So you got all these different arrows for different things. So when we do that, we're just gonna draw what we call the resonance structure. Is there another resonance structure for this molecule? Yeah. yeah. How would you do it? So if we start from here, what would we do? Take this, there, and then anything else? Double bond needs to be Like that, right? Okay, and let's draw our resonance arrow. Like that. Everybody okay? Uh, octet won't be filled, you know, but for right now, since you guys are introduced to resonance, this is good enough. Are there any questions about what I've done up here? Okay, because you're going to be asked to, you know, perform some of these motions with these electrons. 